Well, uh, you you teed something up, Zach. <laughs> yeah, I did. And this is... Uh, you guys, this is going to be awesome. This is more amusing than anything. This is not related to Mark Driscoll yet, but it is related to somebody that has a mega church that plagiarized, which Mark has been wont to do allegedly in the past. Ooh. Plagiarized an apology, I think. Okay. He recently uh, went a little bit viral when he made a joke about the men planning their wedding night. They've been planning their wedding night their whole life. This is coming on the heels of a um, a joke about how women, men, you just go, when the w- woman is planning a wedding, you go where you need to go. You go yeah. where she goes. You wear what she wants you to wear. You, you better. say what she wants you to yes. say. Yes, say I do. Now, most people left that context out. They just played the second half of the joke, which makes it a little bit more salacious, where he says, but on the wedding night, ladies, if you want to make your man happy, you wear what he wants you to wear, you stand where you want him to stand, you do what he wants you to do. And it was he was trying to make a joke. I don't think it's funny. And a lot of people like flipped out over it because of you know, potential abuse or people that have experienced abuse on wedding nights and whatnot. But either, either way, just it was a lame joke. And so he was forced to apologize to it. And this is this clip where this... So that's Josh Har- Howerton of Lake Point Church that did the joke and then apologized. And people think he plagiarized an apology by Joby Martin of the Church of 1122 in Jacksonville, Florida from several years ago. And he made a joke about how breastfeeding was gross, apparently. That was related... <laughs> So anyways, <laughs> this is this starts out with the old apology from Joby, and then you'll hear Josh Howerton, and it's side-by-side side a few different times, and it's uh, almost word-for-word. Word. Yeah, I'm so excited. If you got your Bibles, and I hope you do, grab them. We're going to be in Psalm 34, and as you find your way to Psalm 34, I just need to address a thing. I need to address a thing. I'm going to address a thing. Okay. The Bible says in Proverbs 12, 18, that careless words stab like a sword, and wise words lead to healing is that careless words can stab like a sword, but that wise words lead to healing. And what the Bible means in Proverbs 12, when it says careless words stab like a sword, it means regardless of your intent, like if I was careless with a pocket knife and it slipped out of my hand and stabbed you in the face, and what that verse means is that like even if somebody had a steak knife and they like had the intent to cut their steak and their hand slipped and actually Changed it up a little bit. Wait, pause it for a moment. Church, I need you to hear this. Who is the one plagiarizing? The young so one the or the The southern accent one? is the f- Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, the younger one is Josh How- Howerton. And who's, who do, who's, who's allegedly plagi- plagiarizing? Josh Howerton, the younger, the younger one. one. This is new. This is from a couple months ago. Okay. I, I like how he did the... Uh, the steak changed knife. it up to yeah. a steak knife. Okay. Continue. Yeah. And then the, the guy... The he, made it, he made it his own. <clears throat> he, he did. He's stealing like an artist. He did the you know. Yeah. You know when you take a steak... Uh, that's good. He's playing it off. Guilty as charged. Okay. Three things. I love you. I love you. I love this church. I love getting this to do this thing good. together. Oh man! Hey, I need you to hear three things. Number oh. one, I no. love you. No. Look at the way he Tonight, says that. Lake church, I love you more oh than you will God. ever imagine. I stay awake thinking about you. I pray for you every day. Like you, this is the honor of my life. And again, I am sorry. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for the grace that you give me every single week to stand up here and do what I get to do. And I hope by God's grace, I'll get to do this for decades and decades to come. I'm sorry for careless words. I'm sorry about that. And number three, thank you for your grace to me. I wanna be doing this with you for decades and decades and decades. I believe him. So that's awesome. Man. All right, that's good. Wow. <laughs> I just oh threw my up gosh. in my mouth. I think you, you, I think you gotta yeah. pause it though. Church, if you got your Bible. Good Thanks. grief. <laughs> I mean, what? How come you can't just say sorry? Like, you you made a joke. It wasn't received well. It probably, you I wanna, know. I want to be a fly on the wall when he's like, Google, how do I apologize in, in Christian terms? Blah, 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 blah. I feel like what he did was he Googled chat GBT. Yeah. How can I apologize and make things worse? <laughs> <laughs> I've got your back. Here you go. Uh, to make it worse. Make sure it's stolen. What's adding to it is the fact that his voice kind of has that. <laughs> Guys, yeah, I'm, I'm like, oh, dude, you're weaseling. You're weaseling right now. You got a weasel voice. And both of them, like, I don't like the. And hey, I feel horrible here's, about that. Let's talk about a thing. It's like, are you going to apologize or not? Or, like from the from the jump, yeah. the original guy was like, oh, it's no big deal, but I'm still going to apologize for it. And then the fact that he copied it. We don't have to spend any more time. It on starts it, to not, yeah. 
it very quickly doesn't feel genuine. Zach, good catch. It feels performative. Way to catch this plagiarism well, out there. I got to. Uh, I got a hat tip to the Roy's report, uh, which is a church investigating church abuses in general, like reporters, independent journalism, all that stuff. But so, what do you think should happen to that pastor? I I just hope he's super embarrassed and learns from it and gets a little bit better as a human. Do you think it's grounds for firing? That he's now he's he's now been crass and and dishonest. Do you? Maybe. In what capacity would you... I think he's demonstrated back-to-back bad judgment, and that's what makes me think, oh, wait a minute, maybe you... Maybe this, is, a, for maybe this wrong, isn't a good spot for, for the you. wrongdoing and then using somebody else's apology to yeah. apologize for the wrongdoing. And Yeah. It just shows me that that's, like, that's not a very mature response. It's not something you want in a lead pastor. And so the best thing for him to do would be like, maybe I need to step down for a little while and go do something else. For a bit, take a sabbatical, and he's taken he's rest. taken some heat online. I'm sure he doesn't look at that stuff too much, but um, but if he does, check it out, bros. Bottles uh, of beer. We're talking about <laughs> you right now, buddy. Kids, but I, I do like that. It's like it's on its. If it's a one off, it's one thing. But if it's it's like back to back things, it it could have just been so easy. Just to apologize. It's so weird that it would be so word for word. Do we know what what was the wrong? I'm sorry. Yeah, he said at the beginning. What was it? Gave that off-color joke about the wedding night. He joked about the wedding night about just (laughs) that's right. Okay, wives basically, if you want to make your man happy, do whatever they want. Right, which is true. So uh, maybe the maybe it was just. I'll transcribe this apology (laughs) that you can use next week. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Maybe it was the the funny, and he thought, you know, I'm just joking around, and then he thought it would be like if we had him on, would he actually say? It was supposed to be funny, and then I kind of tried to use a funny thing to do the apology for the funny thing that I tried to do, and it played wrong. You can almost see it in his eyes. If like, he came out, his th- face looks like he doesn't believe what he's saying. Right. Like, and if he but, came out a third time on this and said, "Hey, I was," this joke went way, way the wrong way, and then I tried to follow it up with another joke, and it that played second horribly. one was not a joke. Uh, that that. I don't think that was yeah, a joke. That was supposed to be a real apology. That was supposed to be real. If, well, it, if not, is it possible now I really that really worry about this guy? Is it possible that pastors are so sociopathic alike, alike yeah. that they they actually would apologize in the same fashion? What do you think the chances are? Not with the steak knives. No, <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> Answered your own question. <laughs> More like mistake knives, am Whoa! I right? I just wanted nice. to leave it out there, but he will get a free set of steak knives now. And <laughs> Bros, Bibles, and Beer, uh, Cutco, I think. Cutco yes. knives. Enjoy the Bros, finest. Bibles, and Beer reached out to uh, Josh Howerton for comment, but as of you know, us recording, he didn't get back to us, which isn't true. I mean, he didn't get back to us, but we didn't reach out. He was found That's stabbed why by a yeah. uh, set of steak knives. Yeah. Yeah. It- stabbed in the... By the way, I don't want Biblical my heart. I don't want my comments to be interpreted as you make one mistake, you're out. Yeah. This for me is like a canary in the coal mine. You made you made a bad joke that was off color. Okay, dude, we've all we've all said something stupid in, dude, in a moment. Never. <laughs> okay, Refer continue. to episode two thirty four, <laughs> listener, if you're interested in <laughs> just <laughs> rapid fire questions. <laughs> the um but but this follow up is that's that's for me that's like red flag I'm like wait a minute something this is really weird that you would do this cuz it's so unnecessary there's absolutely no reason to plagiarize no. somebody else's no so that makes me go what else now now what don't we know yeah red flags potentially yes 